The Los Angeles Chargers have now completed three interviews for their all-important offensive coordinator position. As of January 25th, Rams pass game coordinator Zach Robinson has completed his interview. Uh, Rams senior offensive assistant Greg Olson, who's more of the veteran presence, and also Vikings assistant QB coach Gerard Johnson all have been completed with Thomas Brown, Rams tight end coach and assistant head coach on the horizon, as well as a request for Buffalo Bills QB coach Joe Brady, which has yet to be scheduled. But I want to talk to you about five offensive minds and coaches that are not being talked about as much around Chargers circles for a number of reasons. One, some of those coaches are still in the playoffs and will ultimately, I believe, get interviews once they either win the Super Bowl or are out of the playoffs. Or two, maybe just haven't yet come out as interview requests for the Chargers. So with that, let's get into it. All right, right off the bat, I'm going to talk about someone that is in the playoffs currently playing up north in the Bay for the San Francisco 49ers. It seems like every year, anyone in Sean McVay's tree, which obviously the Chargers have already interviewed two and have one more on the way, and in Kyle Shanahan's tree, seems to be a hot name and a hot ticket. This year is no different with the success the Niners have had and the success that Miami had under Mike McDaniel, who is of that lineage. And it's a guy by the name of Bobby Slowick. He is the current pass game coordinator, which was the title held by Mike McDaniel and Mike LaFleur last season with the Niners, and a guy that has obviously now seen three different quarterbacks uh, over his tenure with them. Only 35 years old, but has been 10 years in the league, dating back to his time with Shanahan in Washington. So the experience is there, not necessarily as a play caller, considering Shanahan does call plays, but he comes from that lineage and has that offensive mind that we all, I think, want to see Justin Herbert get to, you know, operate in down here in Los Angeles, and hopefully he can take grasp of that. So the experience is there, not that quite there yet with the play calling ability, but I think the tree and the lineage that he comes from could do both very well for Herbert and this offense. Another name I haven't heard, Clint Kubiak. Now he hasn't had a ton of success necessarily, but is still young, 35 years old, comes from that Gary Kubiak, Mike Shanahan, tree and lineage so a lot of those same concepts that we'd love to see run here in los angeles and does have play calling pedigree and experience which i think is something that a lot of these guys we've seen don't have yet he was the offensive coordinator for the minnesota vikings just two years ago under mike zimmer obviously that staff or mike zimmer was let go and um the new staff moved on and then with the broncos this past year although the offense was a dumpster fire he was the passing game coordinator and did take over play calling for a stint from their head coach and we saw an uptick in offensive production to an extent once he took over so still a name i'd like to see them interview never know what can come of that and we'll see if he can kind of add uh some of that again that coaching concepts the schemes and that ilk from gary kubiak mike shanahan but also bring a little bit more experience to this chargers and be able to kind of groom justin herbert more in the system that we want to see One name that probably is also very hot, but just happens to still be in the playoffs is Eagles QB coach Brian Johnson. To be honest, there's a lot of guys on the Eagles staff that I would love to see the Chargers interview. Johnson being first, which I'll get into a little bit more, but their pass game coordinator, uh, Coach Patillo, and also Jeff Stoutland is their offensive line coach and run game coordinator. Obviously a lot more seasoned, but one of the great offensive line coaches in the game. So we'd love to see him at least get an interview and see what he can bring in that regard. But let's talk about Brian Johnson, who has been with his staff now since Sirianni was hired. So this is year two for him. Doesn't obviously call the plays, but it comes from this system. He was with Sirianni in Indianapolis. So it comes from that Frank Reich hierarchy as well. But before that, was in Florida as the offensive coordinator calling plays for the Florida Gators, which led the most prolific passing offense in all of college football, the seventh total offense and the eighth scoring offense down there in the SEC. So he's called plays. He has the pedigree. He's run a successful offense in college. Now he's gotten the NFL experience with the Colts and now with the Eagles, who are the favorite right now probably to win the Super Bowl. And it's all to do with what they've done with that offense and how they've transformed Jalen Hurts into a great NFL quarterback. So that's one I would love to see. One of my top candidates... 
but it's probably impossible to happen, but I'll talk about it anyway, and that's Frank Smith. He's the current OC with the Miami Dolphins, and the reason why it's probably impossible is because the Dolphins will just block it. I mean, it, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for them to allow him to make a lateral move, come back to LA and be the OC, but we've seen it happen before. With the Rams a few years prior, Matt LaFleur was the offensive coordinator under Sean McVay, but he didn't call plays. Tennessee requested to interview him to give him their OC job where he would run the offense under Mike Rabel and call plays. Sean McVay and the Rams allowed it. Matt LaFleur went there, coached a year. Now, obviously, we know he's the coach of the Green Bay Packers. So, it can happen. It's a little more difficult considering they're both in the AFC. Obviously, they have the QBs that were drafted one after another in the same draft class. But you never know because Mike McDaniel obviously is going to probably call plays as long as he's the head coach there in Miami. And it would give Frank Smith the opportunity to call plays. And we know what he did in LA. For those that don't remember, he was the offensive line coach and the run game coordinator just last year under Brandon Staley. And we've seen definitely a significant drop off in the run game since he left and arguably even a drop off in offensive line play. Obviously there were injuries this year. But last year, we saw that huge improvement at the offensive line. We saw the run game succeed fairly well, even with Austin Eckler being injured throughout the season. So we'd love to see Frank Smith back in LA if possible. Plus, we had him on the LA football show. So he's a friend of the show, friend of the network. We'd love to get him back. Final name that I'll put out there, and it's one that that not sure if, how fans would feel about it, but Pep Hamilton. Pep Hamilton was the offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans last year. We know they did not have a great offense, but they also did not have a lot to work with in terms of playmakers. They did have a great run game with the rookie down there. Didn't have great quarterback play, which is very hard to run an offense without great quarterback play or at least subpar quarterback play. But we know Pep from when uh, Anthony Lynn was here and Justin Herbert was the rookie for your Chargers and Shane Steichen was the offensive coordinator. And we did see some fun things with the offense. I think Pep did a phenomenal job in developing Justin, getting him comfortable, getting him prepared, getting him ready. He's been around the league a long time. He's called plays in the NFL and in college, so the experience is there. Uh, The question is, would he even want to come back to LA after, you know, getting technically dismissed? I know it was Anthony Lynn. I think he would, because why would you not want to come back and coach with Justin Herbert? The big question is, does Brandon Staley want him, considering he had the option when he was hired to retain Pep Hamilton and did not? But I think it's worth an interview, worth picking his brain to seeing what he would do. So those are the five OC candidates that I have not seen talked about a lot for your Los Angeles Chargers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and hopefully we uh, can have this OC conundrum or this coaching conundrum wrapped up here soon. I'm Ryan Dyard. Make sure to check out the LA Football Show for everything you need regarding your LA football teams. Talk to y'all soon.